What is going on all my gear geeks out there? This is Lane with Lone Rider Gaming. Coming doing something a little bit different today. Doing a gear review. Um, I know I'm usually kind of doing a lot of gaming and whatnot, and I'll be getting back into that shortly. Uh, probably a lot of it will be ending up on Patreon, but uh, I'll be doing some highlights here on YouTube. In the meantime, I kind of had some gun stuff I was kind of wanting to do, and some gear reviews, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd kind of come out, and I'd want to start with this. This is the Bulldog Multicaliber Holster. It's a very interesting product that I just came across in our store the other day. And I kind of wanted to just do a review on it. I thought it was, it's been fantastic since I've been using it. So I kind of wanted to get out there and kind of show it off a little bit. Figure, why not? If I have something that works for me, put it out there. Hey, maybe somebody else can find some use for it too. So that's what I'm all about. So basically, I mean, it's a hard shell holster. As you can see, you know, pretty feels very durable. And what's unique about this thing is you've probably already noticed it's got all these little hex or Allen uh, screws in it. Well, basically what this is is that you can adjust this to fit almost. I have yet to find a pistol that this won't fit, and I'll, I'll show you. So right here, I'm going to sh show clear because I'm big on gun safety, YouTube. So, no magazine in pistol. It is, slide is locked to the rear, chamber is empty. So this is my Stoger STR9. Generally, this is probably comparable to a Glock. Um, the slide almost has a M and P look to it. I kind of want to actually do a review on this coming up because I really like this pistol. But Stoger STR9, and this was kind of the reason I ended up getting this holster was because I was trying to find one for this pistol. So obviously, as you can see in here, locks in. Great retention. It's locked in. Not moving. It's honestly does has very little wiggle in there so you know it's not going to bounce around either and so you know you gotta push the button pistols out now this is my Kimber 1911 Pro Carry so this is 1911 obviously again no, I didn't really show it no mag Chamber is clear. This is obviously a lot slimmer of a pistol than that Stoger is. So obviously, I put in that in there right now. It's not going to lock in. You know, I can. Well, now it's going to lock in, but <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but I can. There's a lot of play in that. That just doesn't fit. If I can take these screws and tighten them down, and look at that. Now that's fitting that 1911. So all I have to do is tighten these Allen screws down, and that's going to push that that down. See if I can kind of show it here. See, I can push that down, and that's going to lock in. And now it fits. A 1911. I just went from like a Glock sized frame with my Stoger to the slim single stack 1911.
pretty awesome for a holster to be able to do. Now, I, if I'm at the range and I want to swap pistols, I don't have to swap holsters. I can just tighten it down and I'm good to go. I don't have to go find my... I don't have to go find my Serpa holster for my 1911. And then put this on my belt and get everything set up for that. I mean, I can still run this if I want to. I can pretty well ditch that. Very easy. <laughs> I can run solely this and just tighten it and pretty well. I mean, barring the revolver, this is a almost a one size fits all holster. Really freaking sweet. Even so, that's so circle holster. You notice on the Serpa holster, it's got these screws here in the back where you can kind of kind of do this adjustment kind of thing with it, but not really. It allows some kind of flexibility with you can angle the you could set the screws and then like angle the holster a little bit and you could kind of do some cool stuff with the Serpa. Again, not knifing on Blackhawk. I think they've had some good products. And the Serpa has definitely been a good holster for what it does. Yeah, with it. But on this one, we got an Allen, one single Allen wrench or Allen screw that you have to loosen and look at. I don't know. Let me see if I can adjust. But right in here, it's hard to kind of see. But you can do, undo that screw. In fact, let me see. loosen this up back here and look at that one screw loose and I can rotate this to whatever position I want this holster in. and it's all oh, I am horrible. so you can see right there where it rotates and so I can set it wherever I want to Another awesome thing about that is I can take that completely off of this paddle and there are drop leg um, attachments for that. So if I want to run on the drop leg, which I have a love-hate relationship with drop legs, so I don't usually run a drop leg. I usually like the paddle to the belt. Um, yeah, you, you have that option. If you're one of those Ghost Recon Division players, you gotta have that drop leg. You can run a drop leg. You can swap it out, run a drop leg. Oh, another awesome thing is actually the paddle itself. So this thing, you can see, that thing's got some tension on it and it's got those hooks right in there. Serpa never really had that. That thing I can put that on my belt and it just slides. It can slide. This thing, I put on my belt and it locks into place. Even, right here, let me show you. For my belt, I like to go old school with my belt. I actually run an old house with all my gear. <laughs> I'm old school. Um, so I actually can slip this on here like so boom it's on there and look at that that thing's retained unlike again not knocking on the Serpa I think the Serpa is awesome for what it does 
but look how much play that thing has. That thing will just move on its own. Whereas again, that bulldog. It doesn't move. It's got retention on it. It's going to clip where you put it. So again, and again, I like to run that on my kind of my range belt, which again, I lost belt. Um, cause like I said, I can run this. All I have to do, tighten down a few screws. Boom. I'm running a different caliber pistol. And I'm running a different size pistol, or loosen them up, and I can go back, to, go back to running my stoker. Oh wait, now I want to shoot my timber. I can tighten them down, and it all works. It all works. So, yeah, fantastic bulldog, multi-caliber uh, holster. It's a freaking awesome one. So, yeah. Go check them out. I'll put links down in the description below where you can find these. Uh, basically, it's a Serpa hol. It does everything that what a Serpa holster does, and does it better. Again, I love hard shell holsters. I hate the soft nylon holsters. I just cannot say that enough. I love hard shell holsters. And it is so nice to have just one hard shell holster that fits all my pistols. I don't have to go. And honestly, my wife even has a ISSC pistol that is pretty much a 22 Glock. Fits. Fits a 1911. Fits a Stoker. Fits an MMP. One holster. Fits them all. One holster to rule them all. <laughs> so, go check it out. Links are in the description. Um, I highly recommend get out there with it. Check it out. Um, but again, like uh, any other guy on YouTube that does guns, having good gear doesn't mean squat. If you aren't trained, get out there, get some range time, get trained. Learn how to use your equipment, learn how the equipment operates, make sure that it fits your needs. So, that's it for today. Hope you all have a good one.